Uh, today we will have a uh, introduction to celery with uh, redis uh, celery is a simple flexible and uh, reliable distributed system to process a vast amounts of messages while providing operations with the tools required to maintain such a system it's a task queue with a focus on real time processing while also supporting task scheduling a uh, step one is uh, choosing a broker Basically, Celery application uh, will receive the tasks through a message broker. So you need to set up a, a message broker. You can use a Redis or RabbitMQ. Uh, I I am currently using a Redis, and uh, uh, here you, you can use the Docker to run uh, to set up a Redis. Uh, step two is install Celery and Redis. These are the Python packages. You can use this command to. Install uh, Celery and Redis. Here, uh, Redis as a dependency to Cel Celery, which means uh, they will uh, choose the right uh, version of the Redis for this particular Celery. I have already installed both the Celery and Redis. I will skip this step two. two. Uh, step three: Celery application, which is entry point for everything you want to do in Celery, like creating tasks and managing workers. Uh, here you can see that uh, they are importing uh, Celery uh, class from the Celery module and uh, they initialize in initialize an object from this Celery class. Uh, here task is the name of this uh, Celery application and uh, they mentioned the broker as a Redis. Uh, apart from uh, the application they have added one task exponent that's accepting two parameters and doing the operation. Uh, then fourth step is to start the Celery worker server. So you need to start the Celery worker so that that will wait for the tasks in the message broker and will do the uh, task. It will do the task. Uh, then uh, step five is add the task. So you can use this uh, uh, code snippet to add the task to the queue. Then this uh, worker will pick up those tasks and uh, perform the task. Now here uh, you can see that uh, we are uh, importing the exponent method from tasks and uh, exponents contain a uh, method called delay. Uh, that can be used to pass this parameter then this task will go to uh, message queue uh, with these parameters so it will return the uid or uh, unique id of that task so you can use that uh, id to check whether the task succeeded or not Now, Celery application uh, is in the tasks.py. I added that one here. You can see that Celery application. It's creating the application and adding the task. Uh, task adding part is uh, written in the main.py. Now, let me do one thing. I will add uh, start the uh, Celery worker. It will uh, start the worker and wait for the tasks in the queue. In this comment you can see that one of the mentioned Celery application name is a tasks and uh, it is uh, asking to start the worker. Celery is the main command, uh, worker is a sub command. So it is uh, started. Here you can see that one concurrency, uh, 8 processor they, use, they are using. Mm. Yeah, that's all. So it is waiting. Uh, worker is ready it will wait for the tasks now let me add one task uh, here is the uh, map code snippet to add the task now it added a task uh, UID start uh, task ID starting 536 let's go and see here now here you can see that one, uh, the task workers got one task uh, ID is 536 the same uh, task and uh, it uh, first log message says it is received second uh, log message says it is succeeded 
Uh, this is the only one task we gave. Let us do one thing. Let us give on uh, a couple of uh, tasks. So what I will do is that I will add a loop here for i in range 100. I'm going to add a 100 task. Now here I will add i. Uh, exponent I will add i percent 10 uh, rather than adding the big number I will add a small number I will take only modulo of that number now let me run this one it will add 100 tasks you can see that all the tasks added immediately now here you can go and look at uh, it look like it processed all the tasks so here six six eight last task here you can see the last task immediately they finished all the tasks uh, you can use this log message to understand how many tasks are, uh, are received here and uh, what's the status of each task and all but it is a bit difficult right it's a uh, log messages so having a web application to monitor these uh, these workers and it's a task and all it will be easier for that purpose you can use the uh, flower uh, flower is a web app for monitoring and managing salary clusters it provides real-time information about the status of salary workers and tasks installation is a pip install flower i already installed then you can use the salary uh, hyphen a tasks dot app flower to start this uh, web application and uh, when you need to add a hyphen e uh, for that worker so that uh, it will add the uh, it will send that uh, status of feature tasks to redis so that uh, flower can use uh, so let me do one thing let me uh, kill this uh, workers and I will add the hyphen E here. Yeah, the worker started. Now let me start the uh, flower web app. This is a command. Yeah, it is started. Uh, now, yeah, now you can access uh, uh, from the port number 5555. Yeah, you can see here. Uh, status is online uh, this is a worker uh, maximum eight uh, process uh, it have eight process process uh, this is the id of these uh, processes uh, so if if any of this uh, process is getting killed uh, it will be automatically created another process let us check that one this is a process id i will i am going to kill this process there are eight processes are there uh, kill minus i am sending the signal nine and killing uh, killed so this 980 will go and here uh, after 87 new process will come up now you can see that one eight gone 980 gone and they created new one here uh, uh, 17265 so basically this is a worker main worker id is this one this is a sub workers almost eight uh, process are there this will take care of all this uh, monitoring this process and if anyone is uh, got uh, killed it will create a new on this process so now uh, we saw the workers and uh, you can see the tasks here so now what i will do is that one um, i am going to uh, this is the tasks actually here what i will do is that one i will introduce uh, some delay so so here i will add a time time dot sleep Mm, x percentage x by 10 
uh, some seconds, 6 by 10 seconds, it will sleep there so that we can monitor their uh, status like uh, whether it started, uh, whether it's finished or it is in progress, all the stuff we can see there. So I saved this one. Now uh, you need to restart this worker because uh, it will load at the time of running. Yeah, now it will uh, load this uh, latest changes. Now I will go to the uh, uh, task adding page. I will add the 100 tasks. Now you can go to the here. You, now you can see here uh, status is started success. Uh, 58 tasks uh, added so far. 76 uh, tasks added so far. 83 now it's showing. 88. 91. 94 I think already 100 they added a hundred and you can see that you know, there are a lot of received uh, status is there uh, some uh, many of them are succeeded and some of the started started uh, it is currently uh, the process going on received is this uh, the message received but uh, didn't take to for processing success means is finished successfully uh, you can see here what is the first first column is a, a task name then it's showing that uh, UID UID of the task uh, status then arguments what is the argument we passed uh, then result is there uh, here the value of the result you will see that one uh, it's a return value of the uh, task received started and runtime how much time it took you can see nine seconds nine second eight second like that now it finished everything. Now let us go to worker. Here you can see the process 100, 0 failed and 100 succeeded. Now let us do one thing. Let us introduce some failure so that we can see what will happen if the failure is happening. So go to the tasks. So here what I will do is that uh, if uh, x percentage 10, if that uh, number is uh, multiplication of 10 uh, raise an exception uh, no zero it will raise an exception telling no zero now uh, I will do one thing I will clear this uh, web uh, data in the yeah, this 100 data I will clear that one for that what I will do is that and I will restart the Flower web application and then the data will restart there. Restart the Flower web application. Now if you are going here you can see there is zero uh, process. A zero process too. Now you need to restart the worker also because we changed the uh, salary application. Yeah now uh, workers is uh, uh, restarted and uh, flower web app also restarted now I'm going to add the hundred uh, I'm going to add a hundred tasks to the queue let us check what is happening in the yeah it is automatically see you can see here failure is for succeeded in 30 uh, tasks so now you can see that on started started yeah now you can see that there are a lot of uh, tasks in the queue uh, one is failure here and a lot of success uh, some failure a lot of success and some failure then started here you can see these these tasks are right now it's processing not finished uh, received means it's just received in the queue but not at started processing so let us check the failure uh, you can click the uid and see that what what is a failure now you can see that on some except exception raised no zero 80 80 number is that's the value we passed and it's saying no zero uh, you can see that in the tasks load py line number 12 uh, this is how you can uh, debug this one so yeah uid is there a task name is there uh, arguments we passed is there all the information available there yeah uh, 100 uh, tasks crossed uh, 10 failed and 90 succeeded and what else information we can get from here task we already uh, had a look at 
tasks okay active tasks yeah it's everything completed yeah now you can here see uh, result is there runtime is there yeah so this is a celery with paradise and flower web application thanks for watching